How's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we're going to be working on this monitor. And of course, you'll hear chewing noises from Mika in the background. So, we have a Samsung Ultra Wide CH90 here, and it's got backlight issues. I'm going to go in and see if I can do anything. Again, if you have the original foam that caresses the center group, it's best, but if you don't, well, then you're part of 99% of the population who doesn't keep the box, which is fine. Meaning that if you want to, to be ultra safe, you could put this on your lap. So your lap is right here in the center uh, for when you're popping. So you have to take the back off one, or the stand. Once you take the stand off, you'll notice that there's not a single screw here. You need a flat blade screwdriver. What you do is these little notches that are right here, you sink your screwdriver in and watch this. You hear it as it gets right here. Hear that? there, right there, and you'll see or hear it, it makes just some ugly noises as it goes. I'm going to go from the other side here, that wasn't too bad, uh, but either way what I like to do is get my fingers started underneath like that, because it's just clipped in and you're just going along the edge. Next thing you do is just along this edge, try and peel it up with your finger, just popping. And you're just popping it off of here. Sure, got it going a little bit, so. All you're doing is going along that edge, there will be a lot of popping noises, and you'll see all your clips right here. It's literally, there's not a single screw on the back here. After you do that, so after that back is popped off, you'll see you have full open everything right here. If you have a mangled display port or this is what you think your issue is, what you would have to do is flip this little tab up here, carefully wiggle this out. Next is to disconnect your front display, pull that out like so. You can leave that one plugged in, that just goes to right here. This is your power. Squeeze and wiggle, just a little bit back to side, and it's just squeezing these two side pins. Don't worry, they are both a different labeled amount. One is a 20 pin, one is an 18 pin, so they, they only fit in one area. And then you would just take this off, and take off your screw here, take off your screw here, this flips up and out like this, up, out. Grab new one, put it in on an angle, flip it down, screw here, screw here. This, you slip it in just like so. It'll actually slide in and you'll feel it click in. Take this, snap it back down, and click this back in like that. Next, powers. Again, make sure that they stay linear and straight you just want to clip them in and same with over here bring them in make sure they stay like this you don't want them all kinked up that's the biggest thing no kinking and once you get here perfect next snap the 18 pin into the bottom 20 pin into the top. Done. Put your black cover back on. Let's say you have the power supply. So this is all back together. You would take this out like this, squeeze this back and forth. If this one is too tough, which you're gonna have to remove it from here anyway, but you want to be able to take it and pull it up. Let's show you with these ones, a little easier. So just squeeze the sides just like we did the other. Squeeze them like this. This goes to your panel in the back here. Keep that there. This just, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Just work with it. Let's see if we show you here. Oh, it's all about just 
getting it, there it is. And then, other oh, side, there. That's out of the way. All you would do now, screw right here. There's a screw up here, and this just lifts right out. Lift the new power supply in. After that, click, click, and just like that. Now, if you have a dead switch here, you would take out all these screws along here and this fifth screw, and then this lifts out. And it actually might just lock into here, but you can just pull it out and it'll be fine. So after you do that, you're good there too. You can also replace your switch right here if you so wish. And then after that, this is just a counterweight here. The rest is panel. If your panel's messed, take it to the recycling depot. That's about it. Okay, snap the back back on, put your stand back on and try it out. It should be fixed depending if it was your power or the other. Like me, I actually have one screw to pull back in because I was playing around with this and taking it completely apart. I have one screw left, which is right here from my workspace. And there. Next, take this, lift it over top. Just make sure everything seats back in. See, I always like to go around the whole edge. You can see this sits flush against here. Go ahead and tie your pedestal back on. The monitor is working, but with mine, if I were to put on a white screen, you'd see I've got some really bad light bleed on the corners. So that's why for me, no matter what I did with this monitor, it was probably gonna end up as a recycling piece because Trust me when I say it's very, very obvious. But I hope this helped you swap out your power supply or your HDMI display port connection just in case one of those pieces died for you. But unfortunately, because it is backlight related and the backlight is definitely like just part of the panel with this one, getting in behind is a lot of fun and in the end, it's part of the panel that is broken. It's not just like, it's like an edge lit where edge lit was a little bit easier to uh, fix back in the day. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out for working on this 49 inch CH90. Thanks again for watching. Press like if it helped you out, subscribe for more.